Hi, my name is Stefan Zambon and I'm CTO for Elk. We are a Stockholm-based company and we provide solutions for audio developers and researchers and products for musicians. Today, I'm going to talk about the Elk Audio Operating System, our open source framework to make very easily embedded low latency audio devices. As an example application built on top of Elk, I will later showcase our recent Elk.Live product, which we are working on and that will be released at the end of this year. We developed Elk thinking about the conflicting requirements of modern audio devices, having complex UIs and connectivity options, but being able at the same time to run low latency DSP algorithms. This problem is typically solved using heterogeneous hardware architectures. This means that you're using one Linux system on chip for the control parts of the device and another processor, such as a DSP or an FPGA, to run the audio processing. This approach is very complex in terms of development effort. An alternative solution is to just use a single system on chip running embedded Linux. But this typically comes with a high price in terms of DSP performance and the latency, since Linux is not a real-time operating system. With Elk Audio OS, we try to get the best of these solutions. Elk is an embedded Linux distribution that runs on a single system on chip. It uses the Xenomai real-time framework, which is a dual-kernel architecture that allows us to achieve latencies comparable to bare metal solutions, down to one millisecond round-trip time. The other important aspect of Elk is that uh, it really focuses on development flexibility. We didn't invent any new standard, but we worked hard to support many excellent audio standards that were already out there, such as VST and LV2 plugins, or framework as a Juice or high-level languages like Faust or Csound. It is possible to take existing audio software and just recompile it with the Elk toolchain and get it running on an embedded audio device. The main reasons for Elk's efficiency are the Xenomai real-time scheduler and the custom audio driver stack that we built on top of it. With traditional Linux here on the top bar, it takes a non-deterministic amount of time to serve the interrupts coming from the audio device. And then the operating system can interrupt the important DSP processing task here in green in this diagram during execution. With Elk instead, we have hard real-time guarantees, and as a result, we get both better latency and more CPU time available for running complex CPU loads. As I mentioned, Elk is completely open source. On our main GitHub page that you can see here, you can find separate repositories for all the components of the Elk OS distribution. So, what hardware devices do you need to run Elk? We adapted the Xenomai kernel and our driver stack for several system on chips, both Intel and ARM. Elk's software stack is very scalable and can run from $5 CPUs up to very expensive Intel desktop processors. The open source distribution you can find on GitHub is available for Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. We even designed a custom multi-channel audio shield, but unfortunately, this is not currently available. However, you can order and use other audio hats, such as the high fiberry shield or similar. A big part of Elk is taking care of the boring aspects that are needed to make a robust and better device. And for this, we used Yocto, a tool to create custom Linux distributions. With Yocto, the build system can generate in a single pass a production file system optimized for small size and boot times. At the same time, we get a development image with more tools available and also a cross-compiling SDK that you can use to build the application from a normal computer. X software architecture is very modular and includes various user space applications and libraries. Sushi is Elk's audio engine, a multi-track and multi-channel plugin host 
that can be controlled with a network API using Open Sound Control or gRPC. You can download Sushi from its GitHub page and test it on any Linux system with Jack, even if you don't have an ERC ready device. Sensei is an application that we build to easily manage physical hardware inputs. If you want to make a product with that, you just need to provide the green blocks in this diagram, plugins for audio processing, and the main glue application to control the full process. If you want to find more details about ERC, you can go to our documentation page where we provide getting start guides, reference documentation for all the components, and various examples on our GitHub repositories, where you can see how to make plugins for ELK, how to connect things, and just how to write application with a few lines of Python code as the example here. We also offer support on our forum where you're invited to showcase any cool application that you made with ELK, such as this cool one made by Frederick Font from the University of Pompeo Fobra running ELK and searching sounds using the free sound community in a very nice way. We used ELK to make our own product, ELK.Live, which was formerly known as Aloha in the previous months. It is a sound card-like device that users can connect to their home routers to jam together at low latency using a normal internet connection. The GUI is a web-based application that runs in a normal browser and offers an integrated video chat, which of course works at higher latency. ERC.Live is a full ecosystem made of various software components, some of which run in the device itself, others run in a normal PC or tablet, and finally, there are several cloud solutions that we use to orchestrate everything. The real-time streaming application is no different in principle from other audio over IP solutions. We just took care of customizing the audio algorithms such as the error concealment or the time synchronization for the special needs of high quality music production. The default network topology is a full mesh of peer-to-peer -peer connection and we use NAT transversal techniques so that the user don't have to go into the router and do custom setup on their networks. We also have server-based topologies such as a mixing server or a relay server, and is allowed to have more users connected together at the same time at the cost of a slightly increased latency. Thanks for your attention, and feel free to drop him an email if you have any questions. I will now leave you to a short collage of nice musical productions made with Elk.Live during the past months during the beta period. Enjoy the rest of SMC 2021. Thank you.